Fremantle play Geelong. Is it tomorrow night, Bill, isn't it? Uh, Monday night. Monday night football. And it took me back to a great spray. Shane <laughs> McInnes asked a question of Ross Lyon. He didn't like it. Let's take a listen to how that played out. Well, I think you're out of line because what I saw, I saw some Dockers players go down off the ball. I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah. As well, but yeah. Did you have a message to your players in particular? What do you think? I don't know. You tell me. You're the coach. Well, I just think it's a silly question. Okay. We play within the rules. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Mine. Yeah. Shane. Shane who? McGinnis. Okay, that's the best question you can come up with after two hours of footy. You're quite brilliant, Shane. Yeah, terrific. So then focus on them is really disappointing in the context... Hang on. In the context of the effort we've delivered. That, that's why the disappointment... I'm still... Hang on. I'm still in a bit of shock at the garbage that was thrown up. I can't let it go because it's incredibly disappointing. And I'm not sure what you're alluding to. So I think you've got to look at what you stand for as a journalist, to be frank. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What was that too, Damo? So, you, know, I mean, you, know, you know what I love? I love the fact that these coaches, they deliver these sprays to the media. Yeah. They're so anti-media. Yeah. And now? Where are they now? <laughs> the media. He, he, You're quite brilliant. He, yeah. felt, he said he was a bit paranoid that day that they were setting us up to lose some players for the next final that they were about to play. So that was the point there. Doing so, a very good job in the media too. He is. is. Yeah. Triple M, I very what, good. At, uh, I was Sunday going to Triple today. M. Have you seen Footy Classified yeah. on a yeah. Wednesday? Oh, I have. I think he saved his best stuff for, for us. <laughs> oh, he's no good on <laughs> so, hey, this day we'll save you, Brent. This leads us to coach and oh. media spats, and uh, none more better than Mickey Malthouse. Oh, <laughs> last one, guys. You've been around a long time, Mick. Uh, just the week you've had. Uh, was it a tough one leading in? They're all tough. Any regrets at all about uh, what oh, happened? I'm sorry, do I, do I need to get a confession or something? Last question. Uh, I murdered someone. No, not at all. No, I'm just saying. Thank you. Thanks, Mick. We're still bemused and disappointed that we don't know exactly some of the things that are going on out there. But having said that, uh, the boys had a go. What do you What do you mean? What are you bemused at? What would you think I mean, Richard? What would you really think I mean? So we're, we're going to lose our captain now with a facial break from a uh, uh, to the head. Uh, that's only one incident where we didn't get a free kick. But we just like to think that we get to have an even play, playing field. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Remember you used to go, you watch the media press of yes. Yes with Mick and the first question, Steve, we oh, sitting there. Yeah. Oh, seriously. I mean, there's two Micks. There's that yeah. Mick and then there's... And the there's a real Mick. An absolute ripper. The nice Mick. Yeah. He's a ripper. That's the real Mick. Yeah. The nice one. Yeah. Hey, yeah, Bomber Thompson, I always love oh, his yeah. press conferences. Yes. Um, he was very protective of his players too and uh, he took on all of us, Bill. All, all of you. Of mm hmm <laughs> <laughs> David. Oh, I... I thought there was far worse players last week than Brent Ottens playing the game. And uh, for some, th some silly reason, you people want to assassinate him, and it's just rubbish. You people. Be happy, Mark, that you pumped the All of you. All of you. It's just rubbish. Leave him alone. Oh, <laughs> wow. Tell you what, he gets a little bit scared just watching yeah. that Bomber. Again, don't you? Yeah. Bomber. Bomber Thompson. He was flying. Um, now, what about, what about this one, right? We talk about incidents in football. Ooh, it yeah. was this incident with Neville Bruns oh. and Lee Matthews. Now, this will go down as one of the most talked about, most controversial incidents in football. And after it was all done and dusted, I remember as a kid sitting back thinking, ooh, Coach's Corner on World of Sports going to be good tomorrow. Oh, oh, and this yes. is where the coaches would come together, and on this particular day they did. And it was Peter McKenna, mm, right, yeah. who uh, had all the steely resolve as a footballer from days gone by as he sat there and he probed Alan Jeans in particular, and uh, this was chilling. <laughs> a guy has got a broken jaw in two places, Alan. Uh, did you speak to the player concerned after the game? Have you given your opinion or...? You have a certain responsibility to the game, the same as I do. I said I don't condone the thing, and I left it at that. Now, you want to continue with it. Now, just leave it at that at this particular stage. Thanks, uh, Tom, and thanks, Alan. Thank you, Peter. Oh, Tell them, Tom, we have the hockey hams and the bacon for you there. The one you've had it before. Oh, I've had it before. And you've had it before. Do you know how good it is? Right. And we have Mrs. Bright, of course, for washing your clothes and so forth. You hold that for a very long, please. And we have also McMahon's Pure Honey Tea for both of you. Thanks very much, Jeff. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but of course, it's worth YouTubing that because Peter McKenna yeah. 
yeah. went on with he that. Did. That he wasn't did. just one question. Yeah. He was terrific. And uh, did well, you ever do an Alan Jones media conference? Yeah, not yeah. a conference, but uh, I've had moments One with Alan. With, had yeah. moments with Alan yeah. Jones. Yeah. Well, a lovely bloke. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, you wouldn't Scary. want to get on his you wrong see side. Stephen Hawking in there. No. He was playing for the Cats then. He oh, was yeah. the first. Yeah. Stephen Hawking. You're if anyone, of Stephen Hawking, aren't you? If, well, he's got piercing blue eyes. But if <laughs> if anyone um, went down from Geelong, guess who'd be the first bloke there? Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking, mate. And he was the first bloke there to help out his mate Neville. Uh, there's a couple of player guys on this panel who have been on the receiving end. Here's Damien Hardwick with a couple of yeah. our very own. Good. Phew. Comment from Kane Corn saying that there's no question that the Richmond guys have got ahead of themselves. No, oh, seriously, I'd love to see Kane. I'd love to. Would you? I'd really love to see Kane. Yep. Don't get me wrong. That's his job. Sure. He's there to write <laughs> comments. Okay. Absolutely, it shouldn't be done. Yeah, End of story. You're the media journalist, so you figure it out. No, how does it impact <laughs> the club? Though? Next question. No, how does it impact Next the question. Next question. No, no, Thanks, Tony. No, no, no. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, mate. Give me a spell. Give me a spell, Tony. going. No, well, no, hang on a minute. That particular incident was over Brisbane approaching Alex Rance, I think. He raised it. He raised it, you when he was quizzed about it, he didn't want to know about and it. And Kano, you said your brother would get hold of you back when you were a kid. What about Hardwick, if he got hold of you? <laughs> well, he was tough on the field, but uh, he was a bit of a gentle giant off the field. He's not a giant, but a uh, very nice guy, very mellow. We spoke on the phone after that and he was oh, fine. Spoke oh, spoke on the yeah. phone. Oh.